Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. This morning we're going to be bringing you another Show and Tell Monday on packing for an adventure on budget. So let's go to our Show and Tell Monday. And this week we're going to be going over the saddlebags that match the tail bag and the tank bag that we've already gone over. So what we have here, and again, this is this is the same. It's made out of the same material. It seems to be a really tough material. It's going to hold up if you guys are out riding. And again, one of the reasons that we're doing this on a dual sport, I want to show you that these bags could be used on a dual sport for your little adventure outings, just as easy as they could be a sport bike or a cruiser or something else. They uh, definitely have put some thought into these. I like how the, and I'll come around here, and I don't know, Angie, you may have to move that camera, but as you can see, you got the big wide opening each side. When you open them up brand new, you're gonna get a little carrying strap, and then you also get this uh, rain cover as well, which is pretty nice. Again, it's got that same pre-molded form on the outside, that way your bags are holding their shape like they're supposed to. And each bag is 22 liters as it comes. And then you can actually, it's got an expansion zipper, which takes it on up to 26 liters. And guys, I'm here to tell you, you can put quite a bit of stuff in here. And actually, that's what we're gonna be doing next week in next week's video, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna load this thing down, just like we was gonna take it out camping, show you, you guys, have seen the pictures and we'll, we'll throw up the picture of this same bike loaded down for a camping trip. And we're gonna use these bags, showing you how much more you can get in these bags than you can the Wolfman E12. And that's what we're gonna use as a comparison because that's the bags that I bought for this bike. But we'll be able to show you a picture of what your, what your luggage and loaded out bike would look like getting ready for a multi-day camping trip using these bags versus the Wolfman E12. So that'd be kind of fun. I'm glad that we do have those pictures from last spring. But I'm telling you guys, if you're wanting to get into some doing some moto adventures, well, it doesn't matter what kind of bike you're on. I know I've got a neighbor down the street. He just bought a cruiser here not too long ago and, and he's excited. He's ready to get out and do some stuff. But I know that when, when you first buy your bike and a lot of times you're wanting to get out and do some stuff, it gets expensive. All this stuff adds up. This is another way that you can get into these. These, again, they're made by Viking Bags. They seem to be very nicely put together. And uh, again, like I say, you've got the huge pocket you can get in this way. It's got the preformed sides. You've also got another pocket over here which you can actually get some, uh, again, some good flat tools. Some tools that you'd want to get to readily available. Maybe even put a spare tube. That's one of the things that we always carry on the sport or the dual sports is we'll carry a spare tube, that type of stuff. Again, these bike these bags are made by Viking Bags. If you haven't checked out our website, I'd love to, to talk you into doing that. We're doing a little mini series on our on our website as well that kind of goes over some more details, more of the specs, that type of stuff. But uh, this is just an introduction, that's our show and tell Monday. And again, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. If you know somebody that's looking for some budget bags or some, uh, you know, they're, you're, they're just wanting to go out and try camping and they're not necessarily wanting to spend a lot of money on, on bags, I think this is an affordable way for people to get into the sport and maybe spread the, the word about how much fun can be had at, at an affordable price too, guys. So uh, again, I like the... It comes with the rain covers. I like that they're preformed. They hold their shape. They're not just going to fall apart. That is one of the things that I've talked about in the past. When you're loading stuff up, when your bag's constantly falling down on you, it makes it so much tougher when you're trying to load or unload, especially if you're in foul weather, it's raining or something like that. But as you can see, I can get this one thing out, put it in here nicely, and, and nothing's falling apart. I mean, it's it's holding its shape like it's supposed to. I mean, that's just really, really nice. I like how that, it works like it's supposed to. Again, guys, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. If you know anybody that's interested in checking out some of these uh, series of videos that we're doing on Camping on a Budget, be sure and spread the word. Share our videos with others. We would always love to hear your comments, likes, and subscribes. And again, as always, may you have a blessed week. And 
be sure to tune in next week. We're going to have this bike loaded down with all the camping gear, so uh, it's going to be fun, guys. Let's get this thing loaded up, see what it looks like loaded down, strapped down and ready to go. The one thing I will say on my DRC is over here on this side, it's uh, you're going to need to buy a heat shield, guys, because this bag will flop down and you don't want to burn a hole in it. They make the heat shields for mufflers, and that's just something that you'd have to buy. Not all bikes are, are you going to have to have that, but uh, if you've got a muffler like the DRC, go ahead and pick up one of those heat shields. There's numerous places you can get them online. I'll put a link in our website, so be sure and check that out as well. Again, as always, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes, and may you have a blessed week.